but also I, I'm not a gangbanger. You know what I mean? I've never been in the gang. So maybe I'm just I, I connected with that more. But I would have said, nah, this is just Danny. <laughs> now you're gonna hate me for telling the truth. Little Doug and King Von situation. Little Doug coming out, telling his side of the story, dropping the album, did a three hour interview talking about all this stuff. This is very serious. Little Tim's been hiding out for about two years now and it's still to the point if something was to happen to Little Tim, a lot of things can be submitted and used for evidence. A therapy session documents and all these other things to create a valid recall that would take down all the people around Little Duck just like they did all block. Just like they did all block that would take down all the people around Little Duck. The reality of the situation is Little Duck is from a bloodline of gang members. Little Duck is from a bloodline of gang members. And because of all the stuff he's been saying in the music, he is now being taunted by the internet telling him to take out Little Tim. He wants out of the lifestyle. He's been trying to get out of it for the last few years now. This is why he's talking about it. He's saying all type of stuff to get the album. So obviously he's going to say all type of stuff to get the album. He wants out of the lifestyle. He's been trying to get out of it for the last few years now. This is why he's talking about it. He's saying all type of stuff to get the album. So obviously he's going to say all type of stuff to get the album. So he used the situation and created a business. Gave his life to the Quran to try and save everyone around him from dying around him. He said he needs about a billion dollars to change the city. And a lot of people is helping him and relying on him to do this. In the three hour interview he did with DJ Academics, he says he only cries when he's praying in a different language. Because all the stuff he is having all these different thoughts all them breakdowns he's having it is because he's being hunted by the streets he's being hunted by the streets behind king van and all the other people that died around him a lot of people close to him worried for little duck it's so serious to the point where i believe there would be nights that little duck can't be reached he can't be found his phone is off no one knows where he is people crying tears behind all the stuff and the crazy thing about it is no one knows when it's haunting him when he's thinking about the king Bond situation no one knows how he's thinking if he would end up just tripping and going and doing it and this is the thing about it just like he said when it comes to the young boy situation about young boy was in there and all this stuff like it's the same thing that applies to him they want him to do it these comments are being left by real people this is serious stuff he's trying to tell everything and he's trying to like give up the life and it's so hunting him the trauma from the situation all type of illnesses all type of different things a lot of people is worried for him when it comes to the video that he dropped therapy session in the video people did not like the opening they're saying he's using king Von and d thing for an open plot to sell the album for an open plot to sell the album and they're writing who does alicia keys think she is they're calling it a rap beef like it's so crazy now it's been labeled as like a rap beef now the industry literally turned it into a rap beef because of that people can't tell if it's genuine or not this is what the industry do play on our emotions so now even if he's trying to be genuine people can't tell and that's why they are still leaving these comments about him using king von's name and every time he mention all these people the industry that's what they do play on your emotions so he addressed everything in the interview on the song that he just dropped he addressed the case for him and v-roy addressed all the youtube videos he heard everything and all the different discussions that were happening all the stuff that we were saying everything and his response was he shared his career with king van and if he told on king van we all probably would have seen we all probably would have seen an autopsy of him 
if he told on King Van. In his words, we don't believe he would have been alive right now because of the people that he's around, the people that he's talking about in the music. They're telling him to stop hanging with all these different people. He said he'd been in his head about it. He didn't give any statements on like the whole thing about the video and the album cover and everything. It's like he's crying blood behind these statements. You know, it's crazy. I felt like this lawyer did his dirty work for him and she confused him about King Von. He said, King Von has nothing to do with it, all this stuff. But then when you come to what the DA said about if King Von was alive, he would have went down for the situation. It's like, how do you go around it? How is there a loophole around that? Why are they even able to say that? If the case was truly dismissed like he's talking, that probably would not have been said. And it would have just been dismissed. So it's a lot around the whole situation. He's been in his head about it, sealing it off with tears. He's made the streets cry. People were talking about as soon as the song come on and then the band beat drops and everything. And then what he's saying, the follow-up lines, all the stuff. They're scared to come outside. Everyone know why people acting little Tim because he's been on the hideout for about two years now. He's not in Savannah. No one knows where he is. Like no one has given up the location. Every time he says something about King Von, little Tim and them taunts the situation little tim responded to a couple things online when it comes to what little duck was saying in the interviews he's putting laughing face there he's putting a laughing face there he's putting laughing face there he's posting up pictures showing he's outside he got the pictures of the anchor monitor and stuff and all of it showing people the charge on the profile and everything all this that like it's crazy it's a haunting it's a curse it's everything in one it goes really dark all the different thoughts he's having everyone knows all these people in the industry everyone's seeing everyone knows and a lot of people is worried behind this a lot of tears is being shared behind this like it's just a lot like this is the thing as well right this is all after two years he's saying this and the problem with it he didn't mourn with the streets he didn't mourn with the streets instead he played on our emotions for about two years with the industry all these different things didn't moan with the streets and now he's coming out telling us the plan we need a billion dollars for all these different things so it's crazy like it is crazy and then there is another important thing his legacy is being brought into the conversation and we heard the questions by dj academics speaking to him about you know how does he feel like his legacy and he didn't really want to speak on it and everything like he didn't really want to speak on it and stuff but it's interesting it's all interesting everyone in the industry knows he said he's trying to change the image he's trying to do all these different things like at this point it is the industry's darkest secret they are trying to save little duck they're trying to save him from the lifestyle no one knows if he's just gonna get up one day and end up taking out little tim like the streets want him to do get back everything all this it is something else all of this happening with little duck at this point it's a haunting night you can just tell and this is the thing right even when he went in the interview and stuff you know and dj academic spoke about how he he didn't go with too much people he was about with three other people and the security guard that will use it dj academics was like he came alone and stuff and to be honest this is the thing about little duck like when you see little duck you see all these other people and all this other stuff that happened around him and people were mentioning how dj academics was like moving in the interview and this is because the energy is so powerful it's because little duck is inside there with about 30 people behind him and this is all the different people and all the stuff and it's just mad like and you know the tattoos all over him and everything and all the different faces so it is craziness the king von situation and what is going on right now he dropped the album he just dropped therapy session he dropped the song with him and j cole he sat down three hours with us while they tried to dig and get incriminating evidence off of him and the thing about it is as well like you can't get away from it like you can't get away from me he tried to you know go to the quran and and try to give his life and change his life around and everything it's like how is he gonna live with this so it's crazy like would he just end up probably doing it this is the thing they want him to do it not people beside him not he's aim face not him doing all this stuff they want him to get up and go and they want him to get up and go and do it so it is very serious it goes really dark dj academics and
the thing that he does where he says you know he's not part of a gang member and denouncing the gang but somehow all these different situations you know about all these different people they even have a phrase where people say to DJ academics that these dead people are coming to collect they're coming to collect because of all the interviews and all these different stuff we have on like all these different people that's not here so a strange thing happened in the interview where he's talking about you know this part right here where he's talking about he's not part of a gang and all this stuff he relates to six nine more and all of it and then little dirk starts laughing and why because he knows dj academics is going the same place like dj academics is coming with him he's coming with all of them and they have this thing where they're saying they're taking all of us to hell the gang banging stuff but also I, i'm not a gang banger you know what i mean i've never been in the gang so i, I connected with that more but i would have said nah this is just dead. <laughs> now you're gonna hate me for telling the truth at that moment when he started laughing it's like he was telling dj academics something he was telling him that it doesn't matter how much you denounce the gang you're coming because of all the stuff you know and all these different things and all the different people so it's just crazy it goes dark like at this point it's like literally facing death itself